Welcome back guys to my first Magicka PvP build for the Deadlands. I'm on my Magicka Sorcerer here with 5 Alfik. Then Magma Incarnate, his monster set. His mythic item, Talk of Total Constancy for Magicka and Stamina Region. 1 trainee for max HP. And a 3 set piece bonus, Ancient Grace. Which gives over 3k max magicka with an inferno, front bar, and the restoration stuff on the back bar. I'm using 6 impen, 1 well fitted, 5 light, 1 heavy, 1 medium for max resources, then 2 arcane, and 1 infused with spell damage, stamina recovery here, and magicka recovery. Front bar sharpened with the shock damage glyph for minor vulnerability. Back bar a defending restoration with the berserker glyph. You can also put some escapist poisons here if you prefer, but I like the berserker glyph more for extra damage. There are a couple of options in terms of mythic item. You could use feet here for max resources or CTs for extra tankiness. Or the new one, Ring of Majesty, which gives weapon spell damage and armor for every 3 set piece bonus. So we would gain 200 spell damage and over 2k armor. Skills wise, nothing is changed. Mage Shroth as Execute, Hunting Curse, a spammable Force Pulse. A better option would be a Mental Weapon, but I don't have Psychic on this character. Press the Fragment. Streak, Shooting Star is ultimate, alternative you could go with the Great Storm Atonarch or in group play with the Negate. Back bar 2 shields, Hardened Ward, Dampen Magic, Rapid Region, S here, Boundless Storm for Major Expedition and Major Resolve, our resistance buff, Dark Conversions for Sustain and Extra Healing, and this Defensive Ultimate Light Champion. Alternative, you could go with the Psychic Ult, which gives minor protection. Race, I'm High Elf. Dunmore or Breton should be fine too. As Mundus, the Atronac Mundus for sustain. Sugar Scouts as Buffwood. 20 points in health and 44 points in Magicka. Potions, I use 3 different potions. The spare power potions for sorcery, prophecy, magicka, then the normal twice potions, or the detection potions with magicka detection and CC immunity. CPs, blue ones, deadly aim, mastered arms, iron clad, and dual rebuff, red ones, sustained by suffering, paints refuge, bastion, and shield master. Alternative for Shield Master, you could go with Arcane Alacrity, which gives more sustain um, for roll dodge, or even others like Slippery, this one here, or even Boundless Vitality for more max HP. It's up to you. There are many PvP combinations on the Magicka Saw, so let me show you a couple of them. The easiest one is probably if you start with Curse, into Force Pulse, into Crystal Fragment, then Streak. The other one is if you start with Mage Wrath first, if you execute, it takes 4 seconds until it explodes. So like this, execute, Curse, Force Pulse, Crystal Fragment and Streak. Now with Ultimate, start with Execute. Curse, Force Pulse, Meteor into Streak. It's really important that you time correctly your skills on a Magicka Sorcerer. I use Renda to track my skills. Like you can see on top, below the HP bar. Curse will explode after 3 seconds and Mage Wrath after 4 seconds. Our goal is it to time those two skills combined with Force Pulse and crystal fragment so they should explode at the same time just an example i use curse 
3, 2, 1, now crystal fragment and I timed it perfectly so curse and crystal fragment combined together to a burst damage. If you have still some questions about the rotation, about the build, type it in the comment section below. Like always, I will try to answer them as fast as possible. It's time for some gameplay. If you like my content, support my channel, click on the red juicy button, leave a like and a comment below. Thanks guys.
the end of another pvp build thanks for watching guys and i see you hopefully in the next one ciao